Now, if I want to be able to share my database here, in other words, all my records with somebody else who doesn't have access, I can export it one of many ways. The one way I want to show you is XPS or PDF. Let me show you. Make sure you select your table here down in the access objects, the one that you want to export. Come up here, click on external data, go to the export group, and there it is, PDF or XPS. PDF stands for Portable Document Format. It's available for free on adobe.com. Or if you don't have that, you can also export it to XPS, which is an XML paper specification. In other words, anybody who has Internet Explorer can open this up, and almost a lot of people do. So go ahead and click on it. And then I want to go to my desktop, because that's where I want to save it. And you can see there's XPS. The other option is PDF. If I go ahead and select PDF and click Publish, there we go. It opens up in uh, Adobe's Acrobat. So I can go ahead and close out of that. And it's going to ask, well, you exported this. Do you want to remember these steps? I'm going to say no, not now. We'll go over that later. Then the other option was XPS. Click on that. And let's change the uh, Save As type to XPS. I'm going to keep the name of it the same. Go to my desktop and then go ahead and click on Publish. And it opens up the XPS viewer. Now, if your operating system doesn't have that, that's OK. Let me go ahead and close out. And let me close out of the option to save these steps to export it in the future. Minimize the uh, program, the access program, down to my taskbar. There's my PDF file that I exported, and there's my XPS. Now, like I said, you can open this up in Internet Explorer if you don't have that viewer installed on your computer. All you have to do is go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. And then we're looking for a menu here. If you don't see a menu of options, just hit the Alt key on the keyboard, and it pops open the menu. And then click on File. Go down to Open. Click on Open. And then we're going to browse for that XPS file. Click on Browse. Remember, it's on the desktop, so navigate to the desktop. And right now it doesn't see it because it's only looking for HTML files. Well, it's an XPS extension file, so I'll click on the drop down arrow and say we want to see all files. And there it is, XPS. There's the extension.xps. Double click on it. Click Okie Dokie. It opens up Internet Explorer, and we can now view the file in Internet Explorer. Go ahead and close out, and then come back down here, click on the Access Program button to restore the program. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.